Hey, welcome back to Kirby SQL Talk. Today we're going to show you how you can export an Azure SQL database. That's platform as a service. You have an Azure SQL database and you want to make a copy of that and uh, load it on premises, for example. So in Azure, we're in the Azure portal, what they call the ARM portal or Azure Resource Manager. And I'm in the blade that contains this database. So make sure you have the server name here uh, and you click copy. So uh, you copy that string and uh, you do have to have your firewall set up and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, you just click on that. Uh, if you've already done this, uh, sorry, but uh, you can just add client IP right there. Then it's going to add your client IP so you can uh, get to that from SQL Server Management Studios. So we've got our string and then you just load it here. I've already connected, but this is where you'd connect using that string. For example, database engine and then just you know throw that string in there that's what we just pulled off so once you've done that you're now looking at your database uh, that's in the cloud in the azure cloud uh, as a platform as a service uh, in sql server management studio so what we're going to want to do is grab this database here it's called contact manager db i'm going to right click on it and hit your tasks and this is a little confusing, these uh, <laughs> different descriptions here, but what you want is the export data tier application. That's going to create a backpack file. Uh, you, if you do extract, it's just really going to um, be the schema and all those, the metadata, but not the actual data. So we want to say export. Gives you a splash screen here. And then all you have to do is give it a location where you're going to save it. You're going to save it to disk. Uh, and then it's going to create a backpack backpack file for you b-a-c-p-a-c -A -A now so once that is done there's one we're going to cancel out because i've already done that there's one thing you're going to want to do on your on-premises server so this was our azure sql database here now here's our on-premises server you need to run this script and i'll put it in the notes uh, to configure your instance to allow contained databases so you're just going to run the configure, set the option to one. Uh, once you do that, you'll be fine. If you don't do this, uh, this next step will fail. So here we are. Uh, we've already exported it to a backpack file. We're going to right click on databases and then say import data to your application. Um, you get the splash screen there and this is where we're going to browse. Let's go to my desktop and there it is right there. There's that backpack file that I created. And just open that and click next, 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 and um, you should be good. So that's how you can uh, very easily grab the entire database in Azure and copy it to a, a local instance, uh, an on-premises instance. Thanks for watching.